Hi there, it's Simon here from Patchpool. And this is a quick demonstration of the whole topic of crossfade looping in Falcon, in, which only works in sampling mode. So let's uh, just do this. I've loaded a sample, sort of uh, electronic voices. <coughs> And we now want to apply a crossfade loop on the end. So let's just drag the area we want to loop. And if you want to do a crossfade loop, you have to leave some space at the beginning of the sample because the portion before the loop start, this like here the, on the left, is the segment which is available for the crossfade. So the shorter this will be, the shorter the crossfade only can be. So let's have it like something like what 12 seconds or so. Now right click, create loop, forward, right click again, enable X fade. Now on the right, let's zoom in, you will see that, oops, come on, here, we have now a crossfade area, and now you can drag this to the left, which will, oops, yes, there's uh, some glitches here, you see? I can't drag it further than that because this area is as long as it is. So if I move this to the left, the crossfade area can even be longer. You, you understand? Now what we also can do, we can adjust the slope of the crossfade to this direction, this direction. Now let's hear what it actually does. Let's play it higher, so otherwise it'll take a week. Because it's a long sample. It's already looping, and you didn't notice at all. So long crossfades like that are very useful. And let's move the slope. Let's do it on some shorter samples. Maybe let's take some bells from the percussion. For instance, yeah, let's take this. Of course, you can also do short crossfades. Now, if we move this to the end of the sample, just to hear what's happening here like the decay of the last bell. So this is the area we want to loop, so we don't really need a long segment before the loop start. Let's move this back to the beginning. Okay, now we want to loop, of course, the whole sample. We just leave a little bit at the beginning now create loop, forward, enable X fade. And just this last area, you see we can't drag it further anyway. Speed it up.
could be longer because the decay is longer, so that should fine, be fine. Now let's do this work on the slopes a bit, to see what they do. So the slope like this, actually then the, the beginning of the loop is fading in very exponentially, so you hear more from the end. The other way around, you hear more from the beginning. You can even increase the loop length again. This is more the equal power crossfade. We drag it up. So you get the idea. Now if we set this to granular mode or multi-granular you see the loop is dis the crossfade is disappearing because it doesn't work in a multi-granular or granular mode. The only granulator on this planet which can do that is Halion 5, unfortunately. But um, anyway, you can always use alternate looping, like back and forth looping, which creates smooth loops um, easily. But then, of course, you are reversing the audio. So that should be fine for now. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.